and these buses are going to be replacing all of the Orions in Nice Bus. Right now, 80 of them are currently being delivered, and their numbers are 2000 to 2079. And these are buses Nice Bus has never operated before. I've never seen Nice Bus operate Gillig's, but Gillig's are really common here throughout Long Island because Suffolk County Transit operates them. Long Beach Transit down in Long Beach operates them. And a transit called Hart down in Huntington operates them. And maybe some others that that I do not know of. <laughs> but yeah. So here's an image of bus number 2000. And currently these buses are being built at the Gillick plant over in Livermore, California. So it's going to be a bit of a long drive. But here's some images of 2000. So far, the Gillig units that have already been delivered to Mitchell Field Depot are 2000, 2001, 2002, 2003, and 2004. Bus number 2006 was spotted in Springfield, Missouri en route to Garden City. That's the location of Mitchell Field Depot if you didn't know. And these pictures here were taken by a guy named Steve Souza. Credit goes to him and all the Gillick pictures you see here, especially TTMG for one of them. So when Nicebus ordered the Gillicks, they had two option orders. Option one was to purchase 40 more buses being 2080 to 2119 to replace all of the 1800s next gens. And option two was to purchase 45 more buses being 2120 to 2164 to replace all the Orion 7 third gens. Now, I recommend catching all of the Orions from Nicebus ASAP, especially the next gens, because the next gens were the last ever buses to be purchased by Long Island Bus. And those buses are the last remaining buses to be active in Nicebus that are still inherited by Long Island Bus. So I recommend catching those, and I recommend catching the third gens as well, because very soon they're gonna be gone. Well, they'll be gone if Nicebus exercises the order. Now, to give out my, my opinions about the Gillig's, I like them. I really like their design, especially. Although, there is a bit of disadvantages, which I want to point out. Like, there's a bit of blind spots in the Gillig's, which I've noticed from a YouTuber, which I recommend watching, was the purchase. So, when Nicebus ordered the Gillig's, they had two option orders. Option one was to purchase 40 more buses being 2080 to 2119 to replace all of the 1800s next gens. And option two was to purchase 45 more buses being 2120 to 2164 to replace all of the Orion 7 third gens. Now I recommend catching all of the Orions from Nicebus ASAP, especially the next gens because the next gens were the last ever buses to be purchased by Long Island Bus. And those buses are the last remaining buses to be active in Nice Bus that are still inherited by Long Island Bus. So I recommend catching those and I recommend catching the third gens as well because very soon they're gonna be gone. Well, they'll be gone if Nice Bus exercises the order. Now, to give out my, my opinions about the Gillig's, I like them. I really like their design especially, although there is a bit of disadvantages which I want to point out. Like, there's a bit of blind spots in the Gillig's, which I've noticed from a YouTuber, which I recommend watching. He goes by the name of Bus Driver Life, shout out to him, I recommend watching his videos. If you guys do not know who he is, he is a transit bus driver from California, I believe it was Sacramento, I forgot. And he 